Video games are fun to play on your own, but they're even better when experienced with company, especially if that company is your significant other. You'd be surprised as to how many titles are out there that you can both play from the comfort of your couch and have some fun together. We've collected our favorites for you to choose from. Are you ready? I'm Wes Malik from Segment Next, and here are 15 co-op video games you have to play with your girlfriend or boyfriend. Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris is the most unique game of the franchise. Not because it follows a great story or has unique gameplay mechanics, the fact that it can be played in co-op mode and has an isometric top-down look gives it a spot on our list. Together with your partner, you can solve puzzles, find ways to move from one area to another, and more. The game's intense boss fights are another way for you to bond or rage at each other. Unravel 2 Unravel 2 is designed to be a co-op. Unlike its predecessor, this one is made in such a way that is best experienced if played by two. Undeniably, there's a huge variety of games to play with your girlfriend or boyfriend out there, but a game as serene and emotional as Unravel 2 can give you a perfect night of couch gaming. Accompany it with blankets and hot chocolate, you're ready to go. Gears of War The list wouldn't be complete co-op guide if Gears of War wasn't in it. The whole franchise is a site for sore eyes for all co-op lovers and will give you both a fast heart rate and some tears here and there. If your boyfriend or girlfriend is new to video games, then you probably shouldn't start with this franchise as your first together. But as they get accustomed to it, pop up the question, ready for some Gears? Remember that you need an Xbox 360 or Xbox One for Gears of War games. If you don't, you can move on to the next game on our list. Castle Crashers Castle Crashers is the most laid-low game of the whole bunch. It can easily be overlooked with so many co-op titles out there. Believe me when I say that this is one of the funniest games you'll play with your partner. Throughout the game, you don't know if you're helping each other or competing. Castle Crashers will put you into situations where you can move forward together or play tricks on one another, making the game even more enticing. Did we mention that it also has rocking graphics? This one is a must-try. Resident Evil 5 The Resident Evil franchise used to have a soft spot for co-op games. If we could choose one for you to play with your significant other though, this would be Resident Evil 5. Same as Gears of War, if your partner is a newcomer to the world of video games, he or she might not be able to fully appreciate it. Mess around with few others of the games we mentioned and you'll both be ready for the big guns of co-op gaming. Portal 2 Portal 2 is a game where you can get to know your partner a little better. I'd suggest you play the main campaign before you jump right into the co-op missions to get to know the setting and various mechanics better. Your partner should get to know GLaDOS and how hilariously evil she is. After you head to the co-op testing chambers, be gentle with your partner. These things don't come easy and you'll fall to your death multiple times before you finally found your way and get to the exit. Try. If you haven't tried Trine with one of your friends yet, you don't know what you're missing. The game is based on co-op and is so easygoing that it's easily suitable for a newcomer to video games. You're controlling different characters and have to combine your forces to reach the end of the stage by using your abilities. I'd highly recommend this one to be your first game to play with your partner. There's three games in the franchise as well, so you won't be left with a bittersweet taste after finishing the original game. Diablo 3 if you're more of a grinding type than following a classic story, then Diablo 3 on consoles is the best way to experience co-op with your significant other. The classic Blizzard RPG is fully playable in two-player co-op on consoles, and you can grind through the main story and the end game adventure till your heart's content. My advice, don't struggle too much on builds and uh, min-maxing your resources on your first few days, or your partner will be hit right in the face with too much information. Take it step by step, and you'll have a new favorite activity in the house. Borderlands what would this list be without the addition of some classic old Borderlands? The shoot and loot FPS will keep you and your partner hooked for hours with its vibrant colors and intense gunfights. Just make sure to let him or her get the good weapons too. We know what a sneaky loot hoarder you are. Just kidding. As with Trine, Borderlands 2 has two more games and they're all filled of activities to take on together. Classic, fun, and a good introduction to FPS gaming. Overcooked Overcooked is believed to be one of the best couch co-op games out there, and we can't disagree. It's fast-paced, 
fun, requires complete concentration if you want to beat the scores. Sure, you'll get a good laugh out of your experience in the game, but be ready to rage too. Having to depend on your partner to cut the onions or boil tomatoes while the platform is changing will be a good test of your patience. Fun and lessons for your relationship. It's a win-win. Rayman Legends Rayman Legends on consoles lets you have that classic platformer co-op experience that you never knew you wanted. In co-op, there will always be one guy running forward opening the road and the other will be following in silence. Since those games aren't meant to be 100% played in co-op, there's not many things that you can do together other than running to the end, but that's its charm. Rayman Legends is perfect for you to introduce to your partner if they've never played before. Tackle this one and you're ready for every hardcore co-op game. Keep talking and nobody explodes. What would you do if your partner would be found with a timed bomb in his or her hands and you had a full textbook of instructions on how to disarm it? Would you be quick and concentrated enough to get through it? That's where keep talking and nobody explodes comes in. One player looks at the screen and sees a timed bomb with several puzzles on it. The other has the instructions but can't look at the screen. Can you cooperate? This game is also available on VR so you can experience it in all its glory. A must try for couples and friends alike. Rocket League one of the best multiplayer games right now on all consoles also has a split screen co-op mode that you can try with your partner. Luckily, the screen is split vertically so you won't be getting dizzy with all the stuff going on around you, even though you're missing a portion of your point of view. Just make sure your boyfriend or girlfriend does want to try Rocket League before you drag them in it though. There's always a chance that they'll get tired of chasing the ball and give up. Undeniably, you'll need six skills or hours of playing to get used to its fast-paced mechanics. Divinity Original Sin 2 Divinity Original Sin 2 is a, as close to a classic tabletop RPG as a video game can get. The game itself is excellent in both gameplay and narrative and has tons of activities to tackle together. Be warned though, because you might get tricked. Every character has special traits which can be used as a benefit to the party or to yourself. Will you help out your partner or will you let them find their own way around while you know the answers to all your problems? It's up to you two to decide. Either way, Divinity Original Sin 2 has so much for you to uncover that we recommend it highly. A Way Out Both A Way Out and our number one for the list are a narrative heaven for couples. In this one, you're controlling two prison inmates on their attempt to escape from prison. You'll have to work together and find the best way to assess situations. Don't think too much. Whether you wreck everything or talk your way out of situations, work. Just try not to argue too much over who will take the lead in certain occasions. You'll both have a ton of decisions to make and act smart. Can you cooperate or will you argue every step of the way? This marks the ending of our top 15 games that you should try out with your boyfriend or girlfriend. If your partner is getting bored of watching you play all the time, let them in your world and introduce them to the best co-op games that are out there. Sure, we might have missed some of your personal favorites. If you want to share them with us, do so in the comments below. We'll be glad to find out more about them. Also, do share with us what are your funniest moments while playing with your significant other. If you found this video informative, make sure to subscribe to Segment Next, hit the bell, and I'll be seeing you next time.